Hello, this is the Radio Geek from Radio Geek Blades. And today for you I have a couple of knives from the same series. These are, as you can see by the box, the Volunteer, the Volunteer State Series by Steel Warrior. It says Genuine Bone. And there is the model number for the Peanut. And this is the model number for the large trapper. Now this has the um, volunteer state, it's just Tennessee, and it's got their uh, logo on it. Also on the uh, shield of the knife. Now as I understand it, these three stars represent the three grand divides of Tennessee. The western the middle and the eastern and they are in a circle and they are evenly spaced amongst each other and they're the same size so all three are one as in Tennessee all in all three sections are of one and no one section is any more uh, prominent than the other so they're all equal so that's what that uh, symbol stands for, for the state of Tennessee Let's take a good look at these here. This is the peanut and it is a orange smooth bone. Now this side of the knife is kind of uh, got a little bit of the white in it almost like a like a cream sickle color and the other side is a bit darker and it's more of more of an orange. Um, these are fairly inexpensive knives. These Steel Warriors are a frost cutlery uh, knife. I think this one was about um, $8.50. And I think the Large Trapper was about $10.50 on Chicago Knife Works. All in all, they're not bad. I mean, the pins are fairly smooth on both sides. Um, you can feel just a little raised edge on the... Uh, on the shield but not bad um, the bottom you can see the springs don't look bad but you can see there's some some uh, gapping here where the the bone doesn't fill in all the way and they've got some uh, epoxy or something there that's holding it in place so you got kind of this big gap here and some gaps here and there but um, for an eight dollar and fifty cent knife so I guess you can't complain too much the the blade centering looks pretty decent on them though um, this is a smaller knife so the the pull is a little bit stiffer maybe because of its size the smaller the blade um, this is a 440 uh, stainless steel and I don't know if you can read that there it says steel warrior on the uh, on the tang and on this side it says 440 stainless so we've got this uh, larger blade here on the uh, peanut and we've got the smaller one here. Now this one is a little bit stiffer but it says Steel Warrior here as well and 440 stainless on this side also. I, uh, I did uh, flush these out and oil them and they are a bit better than they were but this smaller blade is a bit stiffer than the other one. All in all, though, for the for the price, um, they're not too bad. Um, I really like the uh, like the orange, the uh, smooth bone, nice color in this, and uh, this one's a little unique in that it's got some lighter areas too. But uh, yeah, I'd say that's pretty nice for a peanut in comparison to um, a uh, a case peanut. They're pretty identical in size. Um, obviously, uh, this isn't apples to oranges, so to speak, but you get an idea of the general size of it. It's very similar to the uh, case peanut. I think the peanuts are somewhat standardized as far as uh, size-wise anyway. So that's the peanut. Now I've got the same series here, but this is the, uh, a large trapper. And this one's, the uh, bone on it is much darker. And I really like that color on this one. 
Um, they're pretty consistent uh, on both sides here of the knife. The, uh, the pins are fairly smooth. I can feel the center ones a little bit and the ones on the ends are smooth and it's the, the same for the front where the middle ones you can feel just a little bit but these ones are very smooth. The transition's not too bad. You can feel it just a little bit but it doesn't, it's not sharp or anything like that. Um, about the same on both sides. Um, back springs look pretty, pretty decent, pretty nice. Um, I did clean and flush this one out as well. They weren't too terribly bad, just kind of get a little bit of the grit out of there, the polishing compound and whatnot. Now it does have half stops as well as the uh, the peanut, um, and this one has the same markings here with Steel Warrior and 440 Stainless. So that's a nice, uh, nice uh, clip point blade. Very nice. Got a little bit of oil in there just to keep it nice and lubed up. Got a pretty good, decent snap to it. And the, uh, the spade blade here, Steel Warrior, and 440 stainless on that side as well. It's a nice blade, nice spade blade. These are, spade blades are really nice for uh, cutting apples and um, I have one uh, case that I use for uh, for food and uh, so yeah pretty decent uh, edge bevel on them they look pretty good let's see what the snaps like on this one here got the half stops I do like half stops yeah so not bad you can't complain about that for 1050 so anyway, I like the uh, the uh, the shield, you know, the Tennessee state logo there with the three stars, and uh, the shield is um, you can feel it's a little bit proud on this end, and this end is very uh, flush and smooth, but this end's just a little proud. Like I say, these are these are really inexpensive knives, so you've got to anticipate some some issues, or at least I do. Got the same kind of issue here on the on the bone here where you get some gaps um, towards the back springs there where they uh, didn't quite fill in all the way and they've got some kind of a mm, probably an adhesive or something uh, that's in there but from the uh, the pile side and the show side I mean they look just nice I really like digging the orange there anyway these are a couple of the uh, knives from the volunteer state steer series that uh, I found on Chicago Knife Works. Just thought I'd show them to you. Get them both here together for you. So very nice, very nice carry. So till next time, this is the Radio Geek from Radio Geek Blades.